Research on the brain-computer interface started back in the 80s with a monkey, some wires, and a joystick. It went something like this. Step one, give the monkey a joystick that controls a robotic arm. Step two, record brain signals. Step three, cut the connection between the joystick and the robot, and voila, the robotic arm will continue to move by reading signals coming directly from the monkey's mind. And even more astonishing, after a short period of time, the monkeys will catch on, drop the useless joystick, and continue to control the robotic arm just by staring at it. Kind of creepy. But we've come a long way since then. Now humans can control automobiles, robots, and prosthetic limbs using only their minds, and electrodes implanted directly in the brain or just outside the skull. The neural interface reads and decodes signals given off during a task, then converts them into instructions for the machine. So if you think about picking up a banana, the mechanical arm will follow suit. But in a more practical sense, imagine mind-controlled wheelchairs or exoskeletons. With more research, life for the physically impaired could improve dramatically. And it's all thanks to a monkey, some wires, and a joystick.